<clears throat> Thank you. Good evening to you all. We have a star-studded show for you tonight. Callan and Ball are here to tell us about their sortie onto the big screen in their film called Boys in Blue, which had its world premiere here in Manchester last night. Also here from Reno, Nevada, via Swansea, the Welsh boxing hero Colin Jones. But first, let's meet a young lady who, as a chalet maid at Maplin's, always makes sure there's not much fluff left under your bed. Searching for false teeth, here is Heidi High Scatty Peggy Olleranshaw. at the end of the season. <laughs> Perhaps they'll turn up in the sun. <laughs> and if I find them before that, I'll hand them personally to Mr Fairbrother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes? Right, yes. Try. <laughs> Poor woman. She says the pear she's got is only good for soup. <laughs> Here's Sue Pollard. <laughs> Sit down. Well, let them look at your frock before you oh, sit shall down. Oh, Do a twirl. Yeah, do a little twirl. Thank you. I'm taking orders for curtains now. <laughs> just before you, Sarah, got curtains no, on. No, well, well, I thought they rode up at the end, if you know what I mean. Oh, no, they only ride up a little bit here. Right, uh, OK, right. we'll see that later. Now, when you were in the typing pool in Nottingham all those... Well, not many years ago, but some yes, years ago. Yes, ten. Ty typing pool. Were you a good typer? Yes, I was a very good typist. Terrible secretary. Because, uh, you know, you had to keep the appointments in the book. Yeah. And I'd suddenly say, oh, you're doing Manchester this afternoon. And he'd be there. He'd, he'd be, be stuck Nottingham. in Nottingham. Yeah. So I'm afraid I wasn't much calm. But you were but fast, fast. Oh, it was good typist. I was 80, 80 words a minute typing and 45 shorthand. Make any mistakes, did we? Several. <laughs> like, like I was a temp, you see. And I worked for this well-known building firm that begins with a C and ends in an N, with O-S-T-I in the middle. <laughs> He says, right, he says, now, you've got to write a memo to everybody because this poor couple, the house fell down on them, you see. I don't know what happened. So anyway, I had to put, this couple, while they were waiting for a house, were rehoused in a hotel, and I put Oval. <laughs> put the V, because the V was near the T. Of course it was. I wasn't half back the next week. No, of course you were, didn't I say? But when, in those days, did you entertain ideas of stardom? Did you think you'd be big? Did you think you'd appear in places? Um, well, I sort of hoped I would, because while I was there, I was all my eyes, my eyes were sort of all out the window and everything, mm. thinking, oh, I can just see it now, the Palladium, you know. And did you entertain but... each other at all? Did you... Oh, yes, the girls. I've got a little song, actually. Do you want to do it with me? Well, okay. Oh, go on, it's ever so good. It won't take long. Right, now, you see, the thing is, you've got to pretend to be a bell. Right, then. So when I go like that, you have to go, ting! <clears throat> Will you do it, then? Go on, have a go. Ting. No, you don't do the conducting. I do the conducting. <laughs> I do the conducting. I just, oh, flipping heck. I, I do the conducting and you go, ting. I can't get... I, I, you what? Your trousers too tight, <laughs> Russell? You what? Are you... Oh, you can go, ting. ting. All right, That'll right. That'll do right. Here we go. One practice. Ting. Pathetic. <laughs> You're tinging, though, Well, Russell. go on, I'll ting, ting. Here right. we go. Another go. Ting. One more go. Ting. You've got it. Right then, Is here we go. It? Are you ready? Oh no, because I've got to. I'll sing the song, right. and when I conduct you, you have yeah. to do the thing. Here we go, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, Russell Harty and myself. Thank you. What'll I do Ting. when you Ting. are far? Ting. Oh, <laughs> Russell, you naughty thing. You just come in. Well oh, done. We did that in the typing pool, but I wasn't half back there. Again, either. there again. You didn't do very well on opportunity knocks either. I did flipping you? didn't. <laughs> what did you do? Well, I got beaten by a singing dog. <laughs> Jack Russell. What did it do? Well, it was terrible, really, because uh, it's still working. The man, Harold Gunn, <laughs> and his singing dog. If he's oh, you're right, Harold, if you're listening. <laughs> and the thing was, he was there, and he'd say, uh, I'm now going to do a selection from Oklahoma, you see. So, oh, what a beautiful morning. Right, and he says, me and my dog Jack are going to do a duet now. So he gets his Jack Russell on his shoulder like this. Stop laughing. And he's going, and he goes, right. And he goes, um, oh, what a beautiful morning. And the dog's, oh, and that's it. <laughs> and you lost And the man that. said he only won because the cameraman put his finger up the dog's oh. <laughs> 
because it was oh! sorry. And then he was off, probably because he went like that up the man. <laughs> Yet he'd chased him all out the studio, and by this time I was, oh God, I can't follow that. <laughs> In it. Needless to say, I didn't. I came a very sorry second. Oh, really. God, but you've done all right for yourself since. Oh, touch wood. Oh, this is for Mike. <laughs> well, touch wood. I still do. <laughs> you've got the. But are people proud of you? Is your family proud of you? My mum, oh, my mum and dad and my sister, they've been really fabulous to me. Have they? And my bloke. But my mum and dad have been marvellous. They never once said, get a proper job or anything. I mean, it was just, you know, what do you do? You know, and I still get. What do you do at uh, night then when you're. Uh, you know, and they think that's it. They think, you know, you're going to the Tesco's in the day. Does your mother show off about you? Oh, she loves it, you know, because she lives on the on the um, East Coast now. They've retired. Yeah. And she loves it, you know, she gets all our Sue's on again. And uh, she's quite a celebrity, you know, because she gets crabs off the local man. <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, oh, dear. <clears throat> you know what I mean? The fish man. Yes, The yes. fish man. Not the in, first man. In Sutton on Sig, because he knows my mum likes crabs. Right. Fresh crap. Now, what we don't know about you, or your mother perhaps either, is that you actually enjoy singing a lot, don't you? You're a belting singer. Yes, I used to do a lot of it, actually. I mean, Heidi High really was fabulous for, for me because it gave me a break that, you know, we all would like to get, really, wouldn't we? Right. But uh, the thing is, I don't do any, any real singing in this. It's just an acting part, really. Mind, I don't do much acting, really. You do, don't. darling, but tonight is your big chance to sing for it. Because what, what are you going to sing for us? I'm going to sing The Way We Were. The Way We Were. Meanwhile, for, the, for giving us a jolly good send off, thank you, Sue Pollard. The thank Way you. We Were. <laughs> the way 